And you're welcome back to the Art Show here on Go Away Bear FM with me, Vinnie Brown, where I'm joined in studio by the voluminous, uh, the harp, the accordion and the ugly full band, which is... Uh, quite a sight to see so many musicians in uh, this one small studio. Um, the harp, the accordion and the ugly kind of burst onto the scene in the summer, played a lot on uh, on, on Shop Street busking um, with the, the massive array of instruments that they have and the um, movie soundtracks that are their kind of calling card and the the um, the, the film work that you've, you've seen on the internet is, is a huge part of it as well. But we're going to have a little chat with them in a couple of minutes. But first of all, we're going to have um, a song, uh, a piece of music from them. Juliana, what is, what is the first track going to be? Uh, it's going to be Mary Poppins. It um, is going to be Mary Poppins. We're making this up as we go along. Okay, we will <laughs> do that one then. All right. Okay, this is Mary Poppins. Was lovely. That was Mary Poppins from the Harp, the Accordion, and the Ugly, who are uh, we may as well name check everybody: uh, Annie Chambers, Luca Verga, Juliana Erconan, uh, Dylan Gooley, Moses Mas Garcia, uh, Laszlo Pastor, uh, Luca Brembilla, and filmmaker Javi Gill. Uh, t- completes the the party uh, and uh, apologies if we mangled some of those surnames but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you've been on the show with, with me before earlier in the summer and it, I think it was the show that got the most response of anything that, that, that we've done on the art show uh, a lot of it, I think, was um, Javi, Javi Gill's uh, cinematography of the, the, the interview, which went out onto the web. And I got uh, friends of mine in Australia who, uh, heretofore, the art show had not reached. Uh, got, I got a response from them for that. 
So I, I think it's a very unique kind of product, isn't it, um, Annie? You were one of the the, 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 the founding members, and, and, and Juliana um, from England and Finland, respectively. I, I think it's interesting that, that there's so many of you uh, all living in Galway, all from different countries, and nobody from Ireland. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We often we do have a dance that dances with us sometimes, but yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, very representative of the Galway street though and busking scene as well. There's a a lot of foreigners in there, a lot of Europeans. A lot of Europeans, and yeah. that's how you met was on 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 yeah. the streets. Yeah, and at the moment, actually now, uh, like Javi and Annie, they don't live here. Uh, also, Luca and and Dylan, they they don't live in Galway. We're at all the sort moment, of coming so. and going, but yeah. Yeah, so moment. we just met up now for the for this little ten day. 10 day thing and then then maybe in a couple of months we do something again so yeah the the templates of of your your shows the the kind of sit down shows is that you 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 play the soundtracks um from from films that the people are very familiar with um you know like the the godfather and the last of the mohicans and and um that kind of thing which we will we'll be hearing the last of the mohicans at the end of the show um I went to the show itself, and and the effect of the music and the the visuals is is actually kind of unexpectedly moving, isn't it? You know, yeah, it, it, yeah. it's it's quite an original take on on on, on a performance. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, like I, I, yeah, it's not just like normal normal geek. Like we are mm. quite used to, so it's quite new for us as well. So it, it's interesting in that way because like we are all from different bands and been playing for years. So so it's like to. For us, it's interesting because, like, we have to look at the movie and maybe, maybe like get try it in to time. Yeah, yeah, get it in time and mm. and it's uh, so it's but it has yeah also like this is kind of just the start of the whole whole project so like we have a lot of uh, room to improve as well. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I think it stimulates a, a lot more emotions as well, seeing the visuals, seeing just like a film does usually, I suppose. But we're having the live music, it have gives a, have a, a, an extra ambience as well, and and you know some of them are quite emotional. Some sometimes you get people laughing. Sometimes you know a lot of people come up, a lot of girls come up and tell us they they cried, you know, during. Cinema Paradiso mm. or during Braveheart, so yeah, it's it, it's nice. It, it's it really is good. it is very moving, and and obviously, especially when people know the films, uh, they know the films so they well. Know the stories and mm. and it it goes back to the, the to the beginning of cinema in that the, the films were silent and there was a, always a, a musical accompaniment. You yeah, know, that's so. where we got the idea from. Really, it was like the live music cinema, but we're doing it with the modern films and you know, but just playing the music soundtracks and and using clips of them. And, and is there anybody else doing that kind of work? No, no. I think there might be maybe. We came up with the idea because well, Javi and I are, are together, and and I've always loved film music and played a lot of film music, and and he's a video maker, so we kind of we just came up with the idea one evening. It wasn't sort of something we'd seen somewhere and and decided to copy. But I'm I'm not really sure. I, yeah. I I've Galway, looked on the internet yeah. and I haven't mm. found anything. I much, haven't come across I, anything I, as, I as as complete. In Javi its, was in its saying there was some orchestra somewhere that was that you'd heard was doing something similar. So yeah, and like definitely not in Galway. Like so that's why it's yeah. been quite quite nice to do in Galway because there's it's something new for people as well. Um, so yeah. Mm. So okay, and and yeah. you're in Galway, uh, as you say that, that that there's people living uh, elsewhere now, but you, you've you've done a few um, a few gigs, and you've got a few gigs coming up in in, in the in the next couple of days. Um, you're, you're in Kinvara on uh, on, uh, Saturday, on Saturday, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow tomorrow night. Oh uh, yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, we do a children's uh, or a family show at half past uh, five in Johnston's Hall, and then we do a later one at uh, eight thirty, and then. Then we play in the pub. Then have a little session after that in O'Connellys, and then, then we come back to Galway, play Nuns Island Theatre on on Monday at eight thirty. Um, That's a proper Christmas. Yeah, gig yeah. Because it's a beautiful it's venue, fun. and it, it's something that that, that that your your sound is going to work. I think so too. Yeah, that. yeah. No, it's a, it's a kind of yeah. It's going to be a really really. And I think the show is really suited well. to a theatre atmosphere. So hopefully that will really work. So so far we've been doing mostly pub. And yes, it would be yeah, nice yeah. to try it in the theatre and see how it, how it goes. I think that that's yeah, because we don't really feel that this is a pub pub thing uh, at all. Like uh, because you know people or it's more like it's nicer nicer when people are sitting when people are sitting down and, and yeah, they can absorb the experience yeah. properly. Yeah. You know? yeah, so we're kind of trying to bring this to maybe like theatres or other other places, uh, but not so much pubs. Uh. 
And um, uh, then after after the Nuns Island gig, you're playing in Clockenover on yeah in Hitford, the tw- yeah. on the twenty third yeah Campus Tavern yeah another very special venue yeah it's mm. lovely yeah we're really looking forward to that it's just before Christmas it's going to be nice we we'll play there at four o'clock um, yeah. Okay, lots lots of, of 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 great shows in prospect. You did produce record an album since since you've been here last. Um, yeah, so this that, week has sort of been our album launch. So yeah. So yeah. so that that that's part of all of the the, the performances as yeah. well, and will be yeah. in the in the run up. How was the 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 recording um, experience? Obviously, getting logistically <laughs> getting everybody into to to the one place was a challenge. No, well, we did it uh, did it all last summer, just before we all. All went uh, apart, and uh, um, yeah, kind of did a very fast, uh, fast recording, and um, and just on the last day when we were all all together. But it, uh, it, it sounds great. I mean, yeah, we've been playing together every day for sort of a month, so it was it was good and tight. Just go in and and do it, and and yeah, it was yeah, and then we did really some well. work with mixing and, and mastering, and just just got the CDs arrived like on the day when we had the first gig. Uh, um, so, yeah. Nothing like a deadline. Okay, and what's the future for for the band? Obviously, keeping um, the, the multinational element of it um, well, together is, is, is yeah, can I be mean, t- difficult. Def- we we don't have any fixed plans yet. We have to sit down and talk about it really. And and I think yeah, we definitely try and make some plans to come back together at least for the summer anyway. And um, maybe we'll do a week or two before then. But hopefully in the summertime we'll you know, try and do something together, arrange some festivals or at least meet up all together for a couple of months. And yeah, because this works going, very well, uh, yeah. busking as well. And like the weather, we were busking yesterday and it's it's really, really cold. And we had the the film projected on the background as well, which is kind of the idea. So it's really mm. nice in the, when it's dark, but this is kind of, it's it's kind of, we all met busking. So we kind of would like to continue that, to continue that kind that, of vibe that, that, and maybe, that, that maybe bring it to other countries as well, go to your, to our own countries and mm. and do a bit of busking and yeah, see what happens. <laughs> okay, so it, it's it's a rolling project. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. Well, um, continued good luck with it. I think it's certainly something that that's caught the imagination in in mm. Galway and um, Javi's film work. I think has given it a, a kind of an international appeal as well. You know, because mm. people would be um, in touch with Galway, would around the world pick up on it, you know, so, and it, it's great, it's great for them to see that kind of thing going on outside Anthony Ryan's on Shop Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a big nostalgic thing. Okay, so you're, you're going to play us out with um, Last of the Mohicans. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, well, I would just like to thank uh, all of my guests uh, this evening, all of, of uh, these musicians here, the Harp, the Accordion and the Ugly, and to Megan Buckley and to um, Des Kenny and Damien Burke for engineering the show and engineering the show throughout the year. So uh, thank you, Demo, and thanks uh, to all of our listeners. And we would like to, on the air show, wish you all a very happy Christmas and we will see you again in early January in the new year. Okay, this is The Last of the Mohicans, The Harp, The Ugly and The Accordion. Or The Harp, The Accordion and The Ugly even. Uh, Let's not rename it. (laughs) Uh, The Last of the Mohicans.